issue. I understand. That's okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, when we're solving a quadratic, when we're solving, the main important thing is we need to set it equal to zero. All right? So the first thing we need to do is I need to solve, I need to get rid of these terms. I need to set this equal to zero. All right? So the um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract a 4x on both sides. Does that make sense? Yes. Because by subtracting the 4x on the other side, now I have x squared minus 4x equals negative 1. Now, again, I still need to set this equal to 0. So I need to get rid of the 1. So I have x squared minus 4x plus 1 equals 0. All right? Now the next thing I want to do is look, can I factor this, right? You always want to see if you can factor this. Now I will tell you, for your homework tonight, um, we don't, I don't want you to be factoring them. I want you, we're just going to be practicing using the um, quadratic formula. Yes? Well, because negative 1 plus 1 is what? It asks, I mean, you have to have a number. You can't have like blank there, right? Um, Mila, I just moved your seat over there. So if you, you can just move to that other seat. You're fine. You can just stay there. I just, set, just put you in another seat over there. OK, so now, ladies and gentlemen, the first thing we want to do when we're solving a problem like this is just like we did before, is identify what a is, what b is, and what c is. a in this case is 1, b in this case is negative 4, and c in this case is 1. Okay. So you identify what a, b, and c is. Then the next thing what you're going to do is you're going to take your discriminant. And now we're going to determine what is the value of the discriminant. So you take b, which is negative 4, squared minus 4 times a times c. OK? And we have negative 4 squared. Yes? OK. Does everybody see how I plugged it into what the discriminant was? OK, so I just took the values of a, b, and c, and I plugged it into. Yes? No, but it says b squared. This, that 4 is not related to that 4. Okay. The b is what you're going to, that's just part of the formula. That's for all of them. It's always going to have negative 4 times a times c. But see, I could put b was negative 4, so I, I represented negative 4 in for b. No, because remember, we added it to the other side. <gasps> see, it's very. Yeah, well, it's, it's very, very important when you guys are doing these problems that you take your a, b, and c when all of the values are on the same side set equal to 0. Very, very important. Now we take a, b, and c, and I subtract them. I get 12. OK. Now 12 is positive, so we know there's going to be solutions, right? It's not 0, so we know there's going to be two solutions. Now we need to determine, is 12 a square number or a non-square number? It's a non-squared number. So based on your notes, since 12 is a non-squared number, we're going to have two irrational solutions. OK, so now let's finish off the rest of the problem. So now what you're going to do is you're going to keep that number 12. Now what we're going to do is use the quadratic formula, which x equals opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c. Now it's nice about doing, I'm sorry, all over 2a. What's nice about doing the discriminant, ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> is we already know what the b squared minus 4 times a times c is. Mm -hmm. It's 12. So now all I need to do, excuse me, is take plug in b and plug in a. So x equals opposite of b, which is positive 4 plus or minus the square root of 12 <coughs> divided by 2 times a, which is just 2 times 1, which is just 2. OK, so you guys see why it's irrational? Because can you take the square root of 12? Yes. 
Yeah. No, you can't take the square root of 12. Yes. Hey, why did we keep it negative 4? Because it's opposite of B. Oh. So B is negative, so the opposite sign of negative 4 would be positive 4. So if it was a positive 4, then you have to do a negative 4? Correct. Yep. Now, on uh, the last thing, Jason, that you need to do is for this problem. Well, no, we're going to try simplifying this. Uh, well, um, you don't need to be waiting for me because I'm actually teaching. So you shouldn't be waiting for anything. You should be paying attention. So I have 4 plus or minus the square root of 12 divided by 2. Now, in this case, basically what you're going to be doing is simplifying this which I will show you guys the simplified way, even though I know we have not completed. So now the next thing we have to do is you have to know how to simplify the square root, which I'll review with you guys in a second if you forgot. But you need to simplify the square root. Then this 2 divides into both of those. So your final answer would be 2 plus or minus the square root of 3. Okay. I know there's some steps, ladies and gentlemen, in there that probably was the more difficult one for you. 